you can see me or just my boobs. What can you see? Do, do, do. Hey you guys, it's Megan. It's Sunday when I'm filming this and my parents are taking Rachel back to school. She goes to school year round, which is why she's always <laughs> like not here, even though it's summer. Um, she's in like a different program so she can finish a master's program in five years, which is really cool. Like a, um, undergrad and masters so that's why she's not here much in the summer but since they're all gone i am trying to be productive i filmed a lot today so i'm working on editing and doing my description boxes and uploading and before um she left we went to target and i just have like three things i wanted to show you guys and oh my gosh we went to Outback Steakhouse for lunch because they're doing steak and lobster like a deal. If you get the sirloin, it's like $16 for steak and lobster. We had the best waitress ever, like so attentive, so nice, so helpful, just like a really awesome person. And when we were getting our check, I just needed like a refill and I always get water and Coke. Like I always get water, sometimes I'll get Coke. Today I got Coke and I was like, can I get a Coke refill like before we leave? She was like, do you want that to go? And I was like, oh my God, like you're an angel sent from heaven. And <laughs> so we all got refills to go, which I've never heard of at like a sit down place other than dumpsters in Ocean City, Maryland. So yes. Thank you to Fallon at Outback Steakhouse. You made my life like this. I'll never be able to finish all this Coke, but it was so much fun to get it like for free because there's just like a free refill. But then I went on a sugar high to Target and while we were like perusing, I saw that they had the new line at Target that I've been hearing people talk about in like the clothing section called Wild Fable. And I literally did not know that this was like a new thing, but it's really like 90s inspired to me. And my sister is really into like Korean um, pop music and stuff. And she said it's very K-pop, like the style that they're um, going after for this line. So I could have bought so many things, but I narrowed it down to two. And there are two really, really cool things that I wanted to share with you guys. So the first are these pair of sunglasses. And you guys know this summer, I've just been like obsessed with sunglasses. I'm having so much fun getting different pairs, like all inexpensive. These are only $10 and I love them. So they are an octagonal um, like frame with, yeah, it has some tortoise shell on the little arm thingies and it's still uh, gold. I'm like all out of sorts right now because of this sugar rush <laughs> soda. <laughs> soda. Um, and then it has the blue lenses, which I always love. Tortoiseshell gold and blue lenses. I just think it's so cool. And Ray-Ban have a similar style to this. They're a little smaller um, that I've been wanting ever since I saw um, Ocean's 8 and Rihanna in the one scene is wearing very like similar glasses to these and I looked up like right after that movie like what are those sunglasses that she's wearing and they were like Ray-Ban octagonal glasses so for ten dollars it's a very similar look and I just thought they were really practical and really cute they had a few other pairs that I tried on like with yellow lenses or clear lenses and even though they were really fun and cute I just know I won't wear them so these I know for sure I'll get use out of and then this that you keep hearing is a fanny pack I am loving the um crossbody fanny pack thing that I got from Nordstrom and they had this and it just screamed my name. I was like, what is that? I need it. I wouldn't have cared if it was like a lunchbox. Like I would have bought it no matter what. It was $15. It's a, um, just a fanny pack with an adjustable. It literally is just, I don't know. This whole thing is just nineties to me, like all these fabrics and the closure is like very industrial, like, 
it's so wild and then it has a little zipper pocket in the front which i wear um fanny packs mostly for concerts and so i was like i can put my tickets in there if i if it was physical tickets and then it's just a like open um section for the most part and then it says wild fable which is the line name and i don't know if like wild fable was like a brand and now they're like coming to target like i honestly have no idea but i just thought this was really fun and i'm still trying to figure out like people wear fanny packs like across your body like this or something like i have no idea you guys i am not cool i am not hip i am just like i just like what i like and these things just so happen to be like trendy okay this is not good it like is it like comes out right away i feel like it should not be able to do that we will have to see if this is actually going to stay on my body. But anyway, I just thought it was really cute and hopefully it's good enough quality that I can keep it. But um, Target is great with returns. And the last thing that, oh no, I had another thing. Wait, let me go get it. I had this in my work bag already because I'm going to take this to work. But I got this notebook. It is my like dream notebook. So it's by the brand UB and it just has all these fun drawings that are in holographic like print it is so cool and so cute and it's college ruled which should be the only type of like lines that they make like it has a mermaid there's a unicorn and it says unicorns are my spirit animal oh my god there's a norwal ice cream yas and balloon letters it's just so fun these little like eyelashes i love eyelashes so it's just such a fun notebook and i i just had to get it. i couldn't resist so that was that and then you guys are gonna die pumpkin freaking spice is already out like it's not even september yet I already found a pumpkin spice thing. So I love special case cereal and I've never, I've never tried this, I don't think. So it was literally just like misplaced. Like it wasn't, I wasn't looking for cereal. It was just somewhere else. And I was like, I have to get it. Cause I bet that this shit will be sold out because everyone's gonna go like out of their minds and buy it and so the flavor is nutmeg allspice ginger and cinnamon clusters which honestly sounds amazing like i think it was last year or two years ago that i had my first pumpkin spice latte like they've been so popular for a long time but i never got one because i thought it was just overhyped no they're literally delicious <laughs> Um, I think I'll probably like this, especially since I already like Special K anyway. So I'm not ready for fall. I am, but I'm not. I'm just trying to get through every single day and not think that far in the future. But yes, I just had to show you guys that we're already in pumpkin spice season and it's still like 90 degrees outside. And today I'm wearing like this little... I feel like a 50s housewife like in this dress it's literally like tied in the middle and it like it's just like a shirt dress and I wore my favorite Sam Edelman loafers and I like twisted my hair back I really like to do this sometimes when I don't want my hair in my face and I painted my nails for the dashboard confessional and all-time low concert that Alyssa and I went to last night. This is Lincoln Park at midnight. It, I think it's getting old because it used to be like uh, shimmery. It used to have like silver shimmers throughout it, or maybe I just didn't shake it up enough, but it just looks like a flat, like dark purple. But that concert was really fun. We had great seats. Like it was GA and then there was like a space and then the seats started and we were in the first row of the seats. So that was really awesome. And I've seen both of those bands before. And Dashboard did not have Stolen on their set list. I always look up set lists pretty much before every concert I go to, except for like Taylor Swift I didn't. And I never look up Lady Gaga's set list because I just want to be surprised. Um, but for most concerts, I look up the set list. And that's like a little insider tip. Like most people just 
I don't know, it's like they go in blind or they don't know that you can look up setlist, but you can look up setlist. There's a whole website, setlist.fm. It's like my most visited <laughs> website. But anyway, um, Dashboard has not been singing Stolen at most of their shows on this tour. And Stolen is my favorite song by them by far. Like, I love many, many songs by them, but Stolen literally is like my heart and soul. I just love it. And they sang it. I was shocked. I was shook, you guys. I was shook to the core. And I was just so, so, so happy. And I will insert it here because the performance was just so amazing. And like I said, I've seen them before, um, but this performance of Stolen was way better than the first time I saw it. Like I thought, okay, I've seen them once. I don't need to see them again, but it was good to have the second time because it was, it was better. I don't know why, but it was just a lot better. <laughs> guys enjoy that little clip and I'm just gonna try to get some stuff done so <laughs> I'm not completely useless for the rest of the day I don't love Sundays but you know it's just part of life so I'm gonna try to do some stuff and bring you guys along with me another thing I got at Target was this little command hook soap tray and I got this command hook, um, so this is in my shower, um, little basket for in the shower because command hooks just work so much better than any of those like 
um, suction cups. So I got this um, probably a month ago and then I got this to hold my razors and I think that it's going to work really, really well. So as you can see, there's like holes in the bottom so it can drain and then you have like the standard command hook things where you can pull them down when you're ready to remove them. But so far so good and there's a whole bunch of different in shower command hook things and I think it's way better than the suction cups. Yo, you guys, I'm gonna sound crazy right now, but just hear me out. So I have like powers. <laughs> I have like a sixth sense, like I'm kind of like a witch. Like part of me is like next level, like I can just sense things, okay? So um, this is like, a random example but hopefully it like proves my point and probably no one will believe me but I was just like sitting here working on my videos and I was like Peach and Lily has been talking about like the second wave of products that they're releasing from their own line and something in me was like check their Instagram because they might have launched it like I don't know I just had this feeling so I type in their Instagram name and two minutes ago they like said that they launched the products which is like wild like legit fucking wild so um anyway I am on their website now and I already placed my order because their stuff has been selling out really quickly. So I ended up buying the Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads, which I am so excited to compare them to the First Aid Beauty uh, Facial Radiance Pads, which I've been using for years. I love the name. I love the packaging. I love it all. Then they came out with an essence, which I am curious about, but I have many essences right now. I really need to work on them, so I'm not getting that. They have this K-Beauty Rescue Balm, which is such genius marketing, like calling it K-Beauty Rescue Balm, like all of it is so awesome. I don't really want that. I just don't really need it. I did purchase also the Good Acids Pore Toner, which I think is a product I don't really have um, comparable things to, so I could be wrong. I'm thinking right now about my Polish Choice um, like glycolic acid toner, but I think this has different acids. But anyway, I got this as well, uh, $39, just like the pads. And then these were the products that they originally launched. And I've been loving the um, sheet mask, the Super Reboot uh, mask, and the Glass Skin Refining Serum is amazing. So if you guys are interested in any of the Peach and Lily products, go um, through my link down below and you'll get $10 off of your first purchase. And I also get a $10 code, just so you know. But getting $10 off your first purchase is super, super awesome. So I cannot wait, especially for these. I am checking out my lipstick and I am so impressed with these Maybelline matte liquid lipsticks, whatever the heck they're called. I have been eating and drinking for hours. Like I reapplied this after we ate lunch, but I've been drinking my water and my Coke. I poured out the rest of my Coke and now I just have water in here so that's good um but there's literally no breakdown of the lipstick like there's a little bit missing in there but when my lips are closed you can't tell so I'm just beyond impressed they're not super drying which is really important to me because I'm like a lip balm addict like my lips if they feel dry I start to panic <laughs> like and so these liquid lipsticks are not bothering me. They are so, so nice. So I just wanted to update you guys on that because I'm loving them. Hey you guys, vlog inception. This is the next day that I am filming this and then I'm going to insert it in yesterday's vlog and I'm wearing the sunnies that I showed you. Um, I wanted to show you guys the lipstick. I'm wearing the Maybelline um, Lover shade again and you can see it's like broken down a little bit in the middle but I applied this at 9 a.m. this morning before I went to a video shoot and it's now after 5 p.m. and the color is like 
still really there. Like you would have to be like pretty close to me to notice that that's worn off. But I wanted to ask you guys that wear like these liquid lipsticks or other liquid lipsticks, like do you remove it and then reapply? Or like, do you just reapply in the spot that it wore off or what? Oh wait, look at this little bunny. Is he not the cutest? Oh my God. His name is Marvy. He, I think he's deaf because, oh my gosh, he's looking at me. Um, because every time we like pull up to the house, he doesn't like move or react or anything. So I know it's Marvy when he doesn't move because... I believe that he is deaf or just does not give a shit. Anyway, so do you guys like remove and reapply? If so, what do you use to remove it in like the middle of the day or even at the end of the day? I use the Garnier um, micellar water with the pink cap that they sent me and that worked last night, but I feel like will that dry out my lips if I do that like every day or every day that I wear this? I'm not sure. So just let me know, but Honestly, this is really impressive for nine to five. Freaking amazing. Girl, look at this. I made the Peach and Lily Insta stories. I'm like at the top of their comments. Oh my God, I'm famous. I think I'm going to start to watch this on Netflix, the new show with Debbie Ryan, Insatiable. And I honestly have no idea what the hell the show is about. Like, this looks like it's a murder mystery, like Riverdale type of thing. But then when I watch the little clips on her Instagram, it looks just like a comedy. So it says it's a dark comedy, cynical. I have no idea. I'm just very curious. So I think I'm going to give it a shot. I wanted to show you guys this super cute pillow that my friend Caitlin got me. She got it for me as a present on her last day of her internship and I'm so sad Caitlin that you're not going to be at work anymore but I love this pillow. She got me the case and then I magically found the a pillow at Target that fit it perfectly but she knows I love cactus and <laughs> I just love this thing so thank you again Caitlin. I'll always think of you when I see it. So I just watched the first, do I have blueberry sauce all over my face? My mom made blueberry pie. It was delicious. But I just watched the first episode of Insatiable. And there's redeeming qualities to it. Like I liked it. But I'm just not loving it. I don't know. It's kind of a weird one. Like it's definitely dark humor. But I, I think I'm going to keep watching it. I'm going to go upstairs and hopefully start to declutter and go through my clothes and stuff and clean up my room because it's a freaking disaster. But it's not a show that I'm particularly like really loving after the first episode. And it's like a long episode. It's 40 minutes. So they definitely had time to like convince me. But I'm just not really fully enjoying it. So if you guys have watched it, let me know what you think. Um, they seem really proud of it. Like, I, what made me want to watch it was Debbie Ryan on her Instagram. It's just like the, her character, the main character, I don't really like. So it's hard to really get into it when you don't really like the main character. So I'm going to keep watching, see if I get into it more. And if not, I'll just stop watching. But I would love to know what you guys think if you've been watching it because I don't know. Netflix has some major hits, but some major misses. And I feel like this is going to be a miss for me. Oh my gosh, you guys, my... My incredibly sparkly, magical Disney mug came in the mail, or I guess it's called a tumbler. Holy shit, I am so in love with it. The little confetti sparkles are Mickey Mouse shaped. Like, are you serious? I will link below the seller I bought this from on Etsy. It's magical, and this is the um, thing I take water in every single day. I think these are like 32 ounces, 30 ounce. Um, 
I got this one at Costco and I love the lid with the straw and thankfully it fits on my new one so I can just swap out the lids. Um, but isn't this amazing? I am so excited for Disney, you guys. I can't stop. So this was my most recent purchase and it's everything I dreamed. So yes, if you are into Disney, definitely check out the seller down below. Meg, have you been to Vegas? Megan. Megan! <laughs> Speaking of small channels, if you guys want a small channel recommendation, you should go watch her. Megfish8 is her Instagram handle. Kirsten, you just anyway. made my life legit. I've been doing really well cleaning. I am working on this mess. I got pretty much everything in my closet because there was a lot of stuff like on my um, on the outside of my closet and I don't want to do that anymore. There's a lot of stuff on that chair too that I've been putting away. So that's good. I filled like half of a trash bag with clothes to donate. Stuff is just like everywhere but I'm feeling better. Um feeling better about my room. I definitely need to get rid of more stuff because I have too much. I just have way too much. So that is what I've been doing for probably the past like hour and a half or so. Didn't really think that Insatiable was that good. Like I turned it off because I was like, I'm not enjoying this. Like it makes you feel like gross inside for some parts. Like it's just not really funny and there were like some funny parts but overall it's just like weird like you know how sometimes you're like they were trying to do something here but they like totally missed the mark like maybe they weren't trying to like do something great but it just was really bizarre like when you think about how it's supposed to be like about body positivity well that's how they made it seem but it's like not like that at all and it's like the these characters are like obsessed with each other like to really unhealthy degrees like it's just mind-blowing that this is this way like it's crazy so I would not recommend it I am not going to continue to watch it feel like there's so many better things that I could re-watch or start to watch so I would not really suggest watching Insatiable and yeah I, I'm just like whoa so I am going to get ready for bed I feel like I had a productive evening and now I'm like oh man tomorrow's Monday tomorrow's Monday so um yeah I'm going to try to do a nice relaxing skincare routine and then head to bed but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and just coming along with me for this evening and I hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you really soon bye